here we study the RK4 method for the harmonic oscillator as a cute example. This is the IPython notebook imported in Jupyter and essentially it's been tested with Python 3.5 but also with Python 3.6. Newer version, older versions may not work. So as anywhere you first always want to import some libraries in Python. In this case we import numpy as np matplotlib.py plot as plt. We would like to make some plots and we make sure that all the plots appear in line which is rather peculiar to Jupyter which is this command procent matplotlib in line which actually means that plots now appear in line in the notebook otherwise that doesn't work. First we need to do is set the value of omega squared and since that value is called omega sq we set it to 1. Then we need to define a function that calculates the derivative of both position and velocity. And the derivative of position is velocity. So the derivative of y0 is y1. And the derivative of y1 is acceleration, which if the mass is equal to 1, is minus omega squared times the initial position. <coughs> then the second thing we do, we need to define an RK4 function. This RK4 function takes four arguments. It takes a function y, sorry, it takes an array y, it takes a function dy, it takes an initial time t and a time step h. It then calculates a derivative at the point yt. It takes half a step by increasing t, increasing t by h over 2 and essentially adding h over 2 k1 to y and calculates a new derivative k2. Then says hmm, k2 might be better than k1 is and does the same thing with k2. That gives me k3. And finally I take a step with k3 to the full time and calculate the derivative again. Then I really combine all of that to calculate a new value of y which is incremented by h times k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 divided by 6 and I increment t by h because I've taken a full step now and return those two new values. So this is the basic functionality that would be true for any code we're ever going to use using RK4. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to learn how to set initial values. And since y contains two values, we need to initialize with two values. In this case, we set x to 0 and the velocity to 0.2. Just a choice, okay? Just a nice choice I wanted to make. I set my time, I started at 0, my time step at 0.01. I say I really want to end at a time of 20. And then I need somewhere to store all the times I generate as I move along and all the y's as I generate as I move along. So the next step really does the integration. We take enough steps so that we end up as close to t max as we can. Um, and then each time we do, we start with a t and a y, like defined over here, and we define a new t and a y. That makes a lot of sense. And rk4 is the function that does that calculation. Clearly the, the function that used to be called dy over here is actually called the riff in this case, so that's the function I pass along. And then I, each time I do a calculation I add the new time to the list of times, and I add my new y to the list of y's and store those. So by the end of this, we'll have done the whole calculation. Then I really would like to see what it looks like. So for example, I first extract y1, which is actually the position, and y2, which are actually the velocities, by just transposing the list. If you think about it carefully, I mean, each list contains, each element of the original list contains two pairs. If I transpose it, each element of the list contains two rows, and each of those rows is essentially x and velocity. Then I start making some plot. I choose the right options from PyPlot, which is usually looking up a bit. I draw some axes on that plot, and then essentially within that plot, I really draw two 
graphs, one for y1, one for y2, and essentially I put a legend in there as well. The legend will contain those labels, and I also label the axis. So that gives me this plot over here, where we can see that the amplitude and velocity are 90 degrees out of phase, as we well know for a harmonic oscillator. The next thing to do is also nice to plot position versus velocity, or velocity is a function of position, and that's what I do over here. And what I really said, I said x for the x-axis, v being velocity for the y-axis, and just to make it look sensibly, sensible, I actually plot those to the same scale, Remember, that's true for mass equals 1 and omega equals 1, it's slightly trickier in other cases, and then it shows that this clearly gives me a circle. So that's all you need to know about doing this.